The shots of Kumasi Asante got a players. Eric the goal came back when just moving out of shot. A while ago, we saw Eric and Niba. Uh, also in your shot and these are the players that are going to do Kumasi Asante Kotoko proud and of course they're going to battle for 90 minutes here at the Babayara Sports Stadium wherever you are wherever you're watching us a warm welcome to the Babayara Sports Stadium as the Ashanti Regional Minister will go through uh, the formalities together with the chairman of uh, Galka Reverend Emmanuel Adote and of course other dignitaries here the Chief Executive of the National Sports Council, Prince Odro Mensa, is also here. And of course, other dignitaries there, you see Kwame Ban, Nyaku, the Communications Director of Kumasi Sante Kotoko. al Haji Slai Tete is also here, as well as Suleiman, the General Manager in Charge of Globe Ghana. He is also here as well. And lots of dignitaries we have here, uh, Nana, today. Keto Kreku just walking out of shots. And very soon we are going to have the introduction of the two teams. Well, because it's a big occasion, you will see so many dignitaries because, you know, this is the feather in the cap if I ever saw one. This is the final encounter of two top clubs in Ghana battling it out for the silverware. There can only be one winner, and it's a new format, the Glow Top 4, this time round. If you remember, Prince, in uh, time gone by, it used to be dependent on a league format where the, the team at the top of the league would be the ultimate winners. But this time round, even though Liberty Professionals finished on top of the league by a clear four points, they had to come in to play this grand finale, which, of course, all the clubs and all the officials involved agreed with. And uh, that's why we're all here. Uh, Liberty Professional have already turned Kumasiya Sandy Kodoka over by two goals to one at the Ohenijan Stadium. And they came here and left with a respectable draw. So, you know, everything is set. The stage is set. Can Liberty Professionals come here and walk away with three clear points again and the silverware? That question will be answered in approximately 90 minutes from now, Prince. 90 minutes of action it would be, and that's the dignitaries run through the formalities uh, here. We have members of the Professional League Board also here, members of Galka also here, and of course lots of dignitaries here present. It is the epic final. It is the Glow Top 4 competition, the final match itself featuring Kumase Asante Kotoko, the Porcupine Warriors, and Liberty Professionals, the Scientific Soccer Lads. Officials this afternoon already geared up for action. Referee Vivian Ago will be in charge of this game. She's going to be the lady in the middle, assisted on lines one and two by George Seja from Accra and Dawood Wadragu from Bogatanga with William Agobi, a fourth official from Suhum. I think that's a brave decision by the Galka authorities. Uh, actually putting a lady in the middle, uh, but she's a lady with good pedigree, sound working knowledge of the laws of the game, and uh, today she'll be put to the test because uh, there are so many capable referees in Ghana, and uh, to be chosen as the one to officiate in this Glow Top 4 is a very, very prestigious honor. So I'm expecting the best from her. She knows what she's about, and uh, I guess those who are there to assist her also know what, she, what she's about and what they're about. But uh, I tell you what, it'll be a fantastic game for the one in the middle, and it'll be a fantastic game for those running the lines because uh, this match is going to prove to be very, very competitive. Well, we're hoping for nothing but the best. It's going to be 90 minutes of soccer action. Wherever you are watching Metro TV now, just sit back and relax as the Porcupine Warriors take on the scientific soccer lads. And Kotoko, this afternoon or this evening, are going to be captained by uh, Emmanuel Ose Kofua, the general, we call him. And uh, we're going to run through the lineup. And uh, this is Eric Bequin, one of the players to watch for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Of course, he's just one of the best player in the just and that one touch premiership, walking away with a brand new car by the kind courtesy of One Touch and Universal Motors. And we say congratulations from commentary position to Eric Bequin. Kotoko players exchanging uh, pleasantries uh, with the officials for the afternoon. We're hoping for nothing but the best. 90 minutes of action, as my colleague Nanak Ajiman said. And we know that these two teams can deliver when it matters most. And the fans, you can hear the cheering, you can hear the background from the vociferous fans of Kumasi Asante Kotoko as they receive the applause from the uh, crowd here today. Let's run quickly through the lineup. I first bring you the lineup of Kumasi Asante Kotoko as we have it in commentary position. And Eric Niba will be called upon to do honors this afternoon. And he will be supported in defense 
by Osai Kufuo, George Asari, Samuel Lincoln, and Okosu Apia, as well as Godfred Yeboah. Mark Sejra, Stephen Odro, Jordan Opoku, Francis Akwafu, and Eric Beckwing from the uh, rest of the team for Kumase Asante Kotoko this evening. And for Liberty Professionals, Daniel Nieje is in there, as well as Eric Boate, Richard Kisi, Emmanuel Ose, Maxwell Mensah, Daniel Yeboah, the captain, Asamoah, Yakubu Seidu, Sam Ayu Yeboah, Tua Kamis, and Yao Entry. For now, it's just about a ceremonial kickoff, which is just about to be uh, taken. And uh, of course, we'll be taking a look at the subs bench for both teams. Uh, as having beaten Kotoko once, having drawn with them here in Baba Yara Stadium, they are the favorites for me. So they're, they're full of confidence and uh, they're raring to go. It's Kumasia Santa Kotoko who the owners will be on. They will have to really show today that they are worthy champions. They will have to show today that they do have the pedigree to go on and on when it all coach bash on the club. And uh, finally, he was suspended, wasn't able to travel with them to uh, Sudan. But it, I'm, I'm really glad to see him back on the bench. And, uh, you know, Johnson Smith, you know, is learning from Bash. And uh, it's great to see Bash there. So there we go with a kickoff. And Kumase Asante Kotoko are playing from left to right as you watch on your Queen's Liberty Professionals. For Kumase Asante Kotoko. Steven Odro, a lot to be expected from him. And Kumase Asante Kotoko putting their passes together. And there they go away on the near side. Putting their passes together. Eric Beckway and the crowd hey. will roll. Lovely back heel there. And Kumasa Santi Kotoko on the threshold of the first goal. Long cross cutting. It's still dangling dangerously in there for Liberty Professionals. And Samalikum fires in the first shot. Daniel Nieje has been called to the rescue. And this has set the tone for action here. Lovely. Kumasa Santi Kotoko win this trophy this time, Prince. They take it home for keeps. Replay of that uh, early incursion for Kumasa Sante Kotoko. And as you can see, lovely ball control there by Mark Setre. Put the ball to Samuel Inkum, that is. Placing the ball in the path of Mark Setre and goalkeeper Daniel Nieje. By Yao entry. Ball goes over the line. The advantage this time goes to the Porcupine Warriors. Throwing quickly, fitted by Samuel Inkum on the far side. Looks for support. Finds Mark Setre. Mark Setre brings the ball back and gets his colleague Godfrey Yeboa. And now George is on the move for Kumasa Sante Kotoko. George Asari. He looks up, looks for support. Lovely dummy there. Chance coming the way of Kumasa Sante Kotoko. Lovely ball control. Looks for support. And that was a lovely shot there from Eric Bekwe. He noticed that Daniel Nieje was out of his post, was off his mark and line. Wonderful display from Eric Bekwe. And from the replay, you can see Nana. That, that was a lovely shot there. We'll bring you the replay in a second, but the corner kick has quickly been effected. The ball has been headed over the line. The advantage was to stay with Kumasa Sante Kotoko. Well, what we saw there was good combination play because uh, the ball could have been picked up initially by a Kotoko player, but he just dummied the ball, sold the defender, and uh, Bekwe, one touch, two touch, and picked out his spot, and uh, it was a fantastic save. Professionals, referee waves play on. And Kotoko will do just that. Now, Kotoko on the offensive. Chance coming over Kumasa Santi Kotoko. And, and Kumasa Santi Kotoko. General Asego for behind the ball for his. Steven Odro. Steven Odro, he fights it. He hits the bar. Oh my word. Liberty professionals off the hook from Steven Odro's free kick. Mark Sechre losing possession. And uh, Liberty professionals fighting hard to regain possession. And they win a goal kick. Well, that was a wonderfully taken free kick. Uh, quite clearly, you could see that uh, he's rehearsed that free kick a few times. Just an inch or so down, and that would have been the top right-hand corner from where we're... So far, so good for both teams. At, at least we've seen Kumasi Asante Kotoko threaten uh, the Liberty goal. Yet to see what Liberty has in store for them. Kumasi Asante Kotoko coming up with an opportunity. The attack was swift. And the, time... and the defender could recover. And that's a good work rate from Kumasi Asani Kotoko, whereas Kotoko have been able to penetrate, they've been able to go behind, and that's why they created so many chances. Nothing comes out of that. The nominees for best defender in the just ended one touch Premier League and uh, Ose Kufuo setting up options. This is Francis Akwafo. Good ball control by Francis Akwafo and Liberty. Chance coming of Liberty Professionals. Lining up for a shot, shot is fired, and goalkeeper got his fingertips to it. Liberty Professionals, it looks like last couple of minutes, 
has brought good tidings for them as they move forward. Liberty Professionals coming up with an opportunity. The pass is on, and this is a goal! Against the run of play, the scientific soccer lads, Liberty Professionals, look at the celebration, Nana. We least expected them to get in the goal, and look at the way they jubilate. Oh, I love the celebration. Well, it's fantastic. Lee Noy Thompson, a very happy man. And there they celebrate, and you can tell the little supporters here from Accra and elsewhere. Says to Jones that if you look at the build up once again, it was sweet from the rear. The cross was on. Eric Nibar this time had no opportunity at all. A chance came in, and who else? But the substitute who just came on, Latif Salibu, putting liberty professionals ahead. It's Liberty Professionals 1, Kumasi Asante Kotoko nil. Well, there you go. There's the wise old man. And uh, <laughs> Janesh Nova. And here we see the goal again. They've gone behind the defenders for the first time straight in the back of the net. That is a replay of that lovely goal taken there by Latif Salifu. But unfortunately, Maxwell Manson has really let them down. It was an obvious handball.